What is up, everybody? Brandon Gadova here, Senior Managing Editor at NumberFire.com, and I've got three picks I like for the Valero Texas Open at FanDuel Sportsbook this week. First up is Corey Connors. Uh, sometimes you're interested in a bet because of good current form. Sometimes it's course history. Sometimes it's course fit statistically, but with Corey Connors, it's all three this week. Connors is a former winner at TPC San Antonio Oaks course back in 2019. And he's also finished 26th and 14th at this course while putting pretty well on these greens. And if you follow Corey Connors closely, you know uh, to monitor those putting stats. More importantly, uh, the irons are what's carrying Connors at this track, but also long-term. Connors over the past year ranks in the 97th percentile among this field in adjusted strokes gained approach, which is my stat that accounts for recency and field strength. So plenty to like with Corey Connors this week. Next up is Gary Woodland, former U.S. Open winner Gary Woodland returning to form in time for a return to TPC San Antonio, where he finished T6 a year ago. Woodland ranks in the 91st percentile in driving distance over the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National, while sitting in the 15th percentile in fairways gained. That's a fine mix, though, because according to Data Golf, TPC San Antonio's Oaks course boasts the least penalizing fairway misses on the PGA Tour. Woodland is strong across the board right now. He has used that for two top fives and a top 25 in his past four starts. Notably, Woodland is a really strong putter from within 15 feet. That is a great sign for his long-term putting stats. Lastly, I like Mito Pereira. Uh, his odds have shot down the board, which is not what you want to see, but there's still some value on him at plus 5,500 uh, to me this week. He's gonna be a course debutant, sure, but he's a long hitter with a lot in his profile to like. Among the field, Pereira ranks in the 92nd percentile in adjusted tee to green play over the past year. He is in the 95th percentile in adjusted approach in that same time frame. Uh, he's been dominant on par fours, one of the best close range putters, uh, and he's actually expected for a lot of putting regression in his favor. So I think that we can still buy low on Pereira, who's got some really good results in his past four starts, including a T15 at the Genesis, which is a strong field, T30 at the Honda Classic, missed the cut at the Volatile Players, which I'm fine with, T27 at the Valspar, and if you don't think he has the wind juice, that's fine. A top 10 is very much in play as well. That'll do it for my Valero Texas Open picks. Best of luck this weekend.